You guys, I'm trying to record a snail mail here. We have hungry little baby fledgling demanding food. Well, oh, there goes, there goes mom feeding the baby. I'm trying to record a snail mail, you guys. Oh, there goes the baby. Or there goes the mom. You gonna follow, baby? He's like, no, I'm just gonna learn to feed myself. Take that, mom. Oh, it's so cute. All right, I need to record some, what? <laughs> you guys, trying to, trying to do some work here. Try to record the snail mail. You two are little geese. You know that? You're not little titmice, you're little geese. Hey guys, so if you hear our little birdo friends like pecking away at the seeds behind you, that's what's going on. That's just where I put my camera and oh, now we have a titmouse. Oh, that's so cute. And there's a chickadee. So yeah, we've got some birds checking in for snail mail today, which is pretty fitting because earlier today we had a Birdseed Diaries vlog go out on the main channel just to show you guys some of the amazing wild birds that show up on my deck. And I'm really going to miss them because in a month now we are going to be moving. So although this is a snail mail vlog, the P.O. Box is going to be closing at the end of the month. And already, like, I am worried if you send anything right now to the P.O. Box, it won't show up in time. So just hang on to your stuff, guys. I promise one of the very first things I want to do the first week as soon as we hit Michigan is go and open up a new P.O. Box. And that one I should be able to keep for years, which is going to be so cool. So don't send anything. I am going to be removing the address to the P.O. Box. Uh, pretty much after this this snail mill. We'll probably have one or two more snail mills because I know there's a few things that might trickle in through the rest of the month, but I'm really worried if you ship anything to the P.O. Box, I won't get it in time. So hang on to your stuff, you guys, and hang in there because there'll be another community update vlog showing up once we move and I have the new P.O. Box all shiny and opened up so that we can have all sorts of cool fan mail come in. Then it will be ready to go, but just hang in there until that announcement video. And today is actually going to be pretty cool because we only have two things. Two things right here that somebody has sent in that we are going to be opening up today. And I've already kind of pre-opened them, but I haven't looked inside of them. So don't worry, I haven't spoiled the surprise for myself. And I'm really excited to see what's here. I know this box is from Katie. Oh, Katie, okay. That's right, I told myself when I am going to be opening Katie's box, I am going to be wearing my little hat. So let me see if I can just back up here and there we go. <laughs> I just told myself we're going to have Katie's hat. This is a hat that Katie made for me and sent in in another snail mail. So we're going to be wearing her hat while we open up the snail mail she has sent in. So yeah, just these two packages. There's one more package at the PO Box office that I wasn't able to pick up today because they closed before I got there. So if that was your package, don't panic. I'll be picking it up and even doing another special snail mail to open it up later in the week or I guess next week. So hang in there. All right. But yeah, that being said, hang on to your mail. If you're still interested in sending digital messages or fan mail, the links are in the video description to my Twitter, Facebook, and email. And I'm really curious about what, about what is in here. And it looks like the tip mice are leaving me alone for a moment. So let's dive on in. All right. So this one is from M. M in Indianapolis. So they sent this and wanted to make sure that it would get here in time because they sent it like priority mail. So I have no idea what's in here. And it feels pretty cool. I'm just going to pull it right out. I haven't looked down yet. Okay. Oh, <laughs> so it's two more packages. Okay. So I'm going to open this really carefully. This says hand canceled. Please just see, just see. Okay. So this is from Indianapolis. All right. Where's my little scissors? Let's open this up. So there are two more packages inside of that big package. So let me go ahead and I can see through it. Let me cut this one open. I'm really curious, this is like a little Russian doll almost, like you open up one thing and find another. So whoop, all right, here we go. What is inside here? Oh, I, oh, is that a feather? I think I felt a feather. I'm pretty sure, is this a feather? It's a feather! <laughs> all right, so I feel that feather. Oh, wow! Oh my goodness! Okay, I got everything out of here. Look at this, you guys! Oh, look at all that color! Okay, so we've got... <laughs> this looks so much like the poodle from Oliver and Company. My sister used to love that show. That's immediately what I think of. The Pilates poodle who would do Pilates in Oliver and Company. That's what she reminds me of. This is cute. Oh, there's another one! Oh, they're adorable! I'm gonna have to put them next to my lily, my little lily Minecraft animal that I've got. And is this like a little dream catcher? It's almost like a little, a little dream catcher. How cute is that? It's got a little, little feather on the end. All right, dear Siri, I love your vids. And then, please, Moonpaw, Bear Glow, Mommy, I have a bad night. Uh, I have a bad, and Night Frost is saying, uh oh. 
All right, here we are. So we have a Warriors fan out there. Oh, this is so cute. All right. <laughs> you are the best. Uh, you are the best. Oh, this is Thistledown. Look, it's Thistledown and Rosestone. Oh, when we're Saga. That's when we are playing on Star Stable Online, which I really love. Let's see, Moss Leaf and Fern. Oh, when that happened to Fern Creek. So this is like looking over a lot of our warrior stuff too. So let me see if there's a letter hiding in here. You make my days better when I watch your vids. Oh, I just love your vids a lot. Oh, here's Night Frost. Oh, I really love the Night Frost love. We actually have that little statue you can see back there. That's Night Frost and Moonpaw, which I think is really, really sweet. Oh my goodness. And then Hidden Kit. To hidden leaf. Oh, this is a custom cat. All right. So this is hidden kit, and she turns into hidden leaf when she grows up. That's really cool. Can't hear in her right ear. See, was hurt by a fox as a kit. Oh, that would be a really dramatic storyline, wouldn't it? To have a fox like almost steal a kit, but then they rescue it again. Ah, here we go. Dear Siri, I love your vids a lot, and my name is Isabel. Uh, my, me and my sister love Warrior Cats and Wolf Quest. She thinks you would like Little's Pet Shop. Oh! <laughs> and my niece actually adores Little's Pet Shop. So that's how I've gotten um, so into it, I guess, is mostly watching my niece. She's really cute because she'll take all of her animals, and then she'll take pieces of paper and like cut up their food, and she'll make little meals for them. They have very adventurous lives because every now and then you'll go in there, and you're like, what you doing? What you doing, sweetie? And she'll look at you, and she'll be like, well, so-and-so giraffe just had some sort of like horrible disaster happen, and here's the hospital, but then it got blown up by a volcano, and it's just really fun to see that kind of imagination going down through the family lines. So she loves playing with her littlest pet shops that way. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, the new baby bird. So Chickenberry. She's drawn Chickenberry. Oh, Isabel, thank you so much. That's so sweet. And then, oh, wild paw and lizard paw kissing in a tree. I'll have to remember that. We're going to have to see what happens with lizard paw. That's going to be pretty exciting. And then Luna, oh, and then when Drake died, that was so sad. And Wisp and Geo and Star Dancer, oh, that's so sweet. So in our Wolf Quest series, a puppy named Drake passed away. Here's his ancestor Luna watching over him. Here's Geo and Star Dancer, who are his parents. And then Wisp, who is Geo's sister, who helps out with the pack. We have some pretty complicated stories going on in our series, but that's what makes it so interesting. Wisp, my brother should not care. He loves you. Oh. Star Dancer, Wisp, and Geo hanging out with one another. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, I love Star Dancer howling. Oh, that's so wonderful. I love to see how much you guys love these series. Because I would have never in a million years guessed that Wolf Quest would turn into something that would just strike a chord with thousands of people and make them so happy and then transform itself into this giant storyline. It's pretty amazing, if you ask me. All right, I'm going to put these right here. And then there's a second package that was in this one from Isabel. Thank you so much, sweetie. And then let's see what's going on. Again, I can see through it, so I know I'm not cutting anything important. Gotcha. All right. So let's go ahead and open it. And what's going on in here? Let's make sure. Oh, oh I feel more things. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can get the paper out first, and then we'll pull out the little toys. All right. Dear Siri, I love your warrior cats. I love Wolf Quest too. I have a question. Can you do Lilith's Pet Shops? Lilith's Pet Shops are little animals, dog, cats, birds, and every mammal. I really want you to try it out. <laughs> little Pet Shops are toys. Uh, now go... Uh, yeah, da, 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 da. sorry for the bad smelling. I'm not in my double digits yet. Oh, that's so sweet. I remember my 10th birthday. I walked downstairs and I was so excited. And I ran up to my mom and her friend who was visiting. And I was like, I'm in my double digits now. And they burst out laughing at me. And they're like, well, honey, you're going to be in double digits for a long time. And then they laughed really hard. And I couldn't understand why they were laughing until I learned about hundreds. So <laughs> it was pretty fun. But yeah, man, if I lived closer to my niece, we would have hundreds of little pet shops to be able to interact with and play with. I might just follow her around with my camera and be like, what are they doing now, sweetie? And she'd probably be like, they're building a creeper farm because she loves Minecraft as well. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's Honeywish. Oh, Bee Kit. Bee Kit is such a cute name. 
And as you guys know, Honey Wish is now expecting kits. And if you didn't know that information, you need to go and watch The Lost, the Last Star Clan Speaks because it's pretty awesome. She does announce her pregnancy that she's expecting kits. And I'm pretty sure, let me know if you guys think, Bee Kit probably needs to be one of the names because that's just too cute. That is just way too cute. And this is a picture of Honey Wish with Briar Stock. So we have a Briar Wish shipper here. And then a short hair cat, little short hair cat, little pet shop short hair cat. And then let's see, oh, another kitty. Oh, that's a really cute looking one. It almost looks like Dawn Step. And then let's see, oh, Minecraft. Good old grass block, really, really like it. There you go, there you go. And then let's go ahead and see what the little things are inside now. So that was our wonderful letter. Thank you so much, sweetie. And I'm gonna make sure there's everybody. And we've got some more little treasures. Little heart and a feather. I'm gonna say this is for Robin Kit because Robin Kit's little feather pile it definitely has to grow. I can't wait. I'm pretty sure you guys know what Robin Kit's gonna become when she grows up. And then, oh, it's a little monkey. We've got a little monkey right here. And then we've got, <laughs> we have a really awesome looking uh, little cake with a face. That's so cute. It's like a little chocolate chip cake and a little pony. So I believe this is definitely, I don't know who this is. See if my niece was here, she could tell me in a heartbeat. But this is one of the ponies from My Littlest Pony or My Littlest Pony. What? <laughs> you guys know what I mean. <laughs> Oh, I'm just combining everything. It's just that I'm making some sort of new crossover thing in my head. Oh, that's hilarious. All right, so thank you so much, Isabel. That is so sweet, and I can't wait to add the little treasures to my treasure box and put your sweet letters into my scrapbook. I'm really looking forward to that. And Katie, I know you have been waiting a long time to send this to me, and I have been very excited at all the hints you've been sending me on Twitter, so it's time to open up Katie's box. And this is Katie's hat. And Katie also sent me delicious chocolate that unfortunately I couldn't eat because it wasn't vegan, but I still love that I have it from like England and so many paintings that I need to put up on my office wall, Katie. All right, so I'm gonna open it now and we're gonna see what's inside. Okay. Deliver to Siri the zookeeper, urgent. All right, now I'm pretty curious and it has a little thing. It's just like a little envelope. Look how cute this is. All right, so we're going to open up our urgent message to Siri the zookeeper. And then this mossy-eyed giraffe. What? What? Hang on here. What? Okay, mossy-eyed giraffe. Okay. Zookeeper Siri, salutations and warm greetings from the Tiny Animal Rescue Zoo, aka TARS. We pride ourselves on our ability to take in and house all manner of tiny animals, but we simply do not have the facilities for a creature that needs specialized care that this one does. Please find enclosed one miniature mossy-eyed giraffe in temporary housing. A proper enclosure will be delivered in the future. What? <laughs> This giraffe has a very delicate internal skeleton, so be very gentle when assisting it with moving around your facilities. Thank you so much for your assistance in this rescue operation, Team TARS. This mossy-eyed giraffe is 100% handmade. It is poseable, but very delicate. Bend legs and neck very gently if you need to adjust the pose. From Katie. Oh my gosh, Katie, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Ooh, okay, deep breaths, deep breaths. Be very gentle. Oh, there's more stuff on the bottom. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this package. Look, she's hand painted this with live animals. Oh my goodness. And caution and handle with care. Katie, you are one of the most creative people I have ever known about in my whole life. Zookeeper Siri Urgent. Okay. I'm going to open this as absolutely gently as possible. I need to figure out, okay, I'm just going to gently, gently, gently cut through the tape. A posable mossy eye giraffe, handmade in an adorable box that I'm absolutely in love with and going to keep forever and ever and ever. And let's go ahead, oh my gosh, it's even got a little caution thing on the inside. Oh my goodness. So it's, it's in here. Oh my gosh, it's like a little enclosure. Okay, I've got to put this one down because I've got to look at this guy. Oh my goodness. So here's what he's inside, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna take him out so carefully. He's like in his own little bed of moss. Oh my goodness, look at him. Katie, Katie. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so beautiful, Katie. Tiny animal zoo indeed. Oh 
my gosh, the ears. Look at that, the O thing I can never pronounce on giraffes that they have on the dress. And I know what they use it for, but I can't pronounce it. Oh my gosh, that detail. Look at that, you guys. Oh, I'm like shaking, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to show chips. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, don't drop them, Siri. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> And he's got just the cutest little house in here. She's even taped like a little sky. And I can keep him in here just for a little bit so he'll be safe because apparently he has an enclosure coming. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is gorgeous. This is just gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna tuck you in here just I I, I want him I wanna I wanna show him off, but I want him to be safe. Okay, you wow. 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 <laughs> amazing okay Katie there's still more stuff in this box too and this I'm just I'm so tickled I can't even like think right now I'm just sort of in shock okay I'm gonna very carefully check what else is in the box hello Siri this is just a little teaser for your super secret project I hope you enjoy enclosed painting self-explanatory earrings picked up in Denver Colorado what oh my gosh Katie thank you <laughs> And by the way, Katie, holy days, your handwriting is just, I mean, it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I have scribble writing and this is just gorgeous. Rock City pamphlet and surprise from Tennessee. The map is marked with a few things you may find interesting. Book a planning book for the zoo. Please open an urgent parcel from TARS. It was delivered to the tiny hat factory, tiny hat factory, to be forwarded on to you. I think I heard something in there moving around. I hope it's not anything dangerous. This project will have to be delivered to your new address in Ann Arbor. I'm getting a, a little too busy in the next few weeks to get it done. Off to New York and then Canada to see my mom. Yay! Anyway, so much to do. Bye, Katie. P.S. Sorry the chocolate I sent wasn't vegan. I hope someone was able to enjoy it anyway. And yes, we shared it with Chips' family, the one, the side that's not vegan, and it was it was really delicious. And it was really funny because, you know, you sit there and you watch him eat it, and you're like, yeah, this is a really cool, like, chocolate from, like, England that a friend gave me. And you just, like, sit there and watch them eat it kind of creepily, and you just live through how they enjoyed it, and they enjoyed it. So thank you so much, Katie. P.P.S. Could you keep an eye out for Phil? He vanished a while ago when I was working on your box and I can't seem to find him. Missing Phil. A missing cat, three feet tall, gray with white be belly, wearing a gold crown with three jewels. Probably sh somewhere he shouldn't be. Thanks for everything you do. So this is Phil, you guys. Oh my gosh. This is so amazing. <sighs> Deep breaths. <laughs> this is just too cool. Okay, very careful. Hi, Liz. I'm gonna have to name it. I'm gonna name it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this one. Oh, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. When you said earrings, Katie, okay, these are my seed glass earrings that we actually got on vlogs together. You guys, you you picked these earrings out with me on a vlog for um, Bald Head Island when we went on Bald Head Island and had those really awesome vlogs on the vlog channel. But this, you guys, these are giraffe earrings. These are giraffe earrings. No way. How did you even find them? They're so cute. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to wear these every time I re when I record zoo crafting tonight. I am I'm going to just I'm going to wear these. These are going to be on my head like while I'm recording. I might even leave the hat on if like my my mic system won't mess with it. Oh my goodness. 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 Drop your rings. Drop your rings. <laughs> Chips is going to like just oh he's gonna to have to hear about it for hours I'm just gonna be so excited and showing everything off to him no way these are like my new favorite things I'm gonna be wearing them all the time you guys are gonna see them on like every vlog and I have my dolphin earrings someone sent and I have a couple other pairs of earrings people have sent in <laughs> thank you okay oh my gosh I can't believe there's more. I can't believe there's more. I can't believe there's more. Okay, okay. No place like Rock City is what it says. And I've never been to Rock City. Lookout Mountain, Georgia. So what do you have hiding in here? 
a surprise, it says. And then if you open it up, there's a little package. I'm not going to peek yet because you guys know I love saving my surprises because it makes it even more exciting. There's a guide map. See rockcity.com. I wonder if Chips and I should go. Mushroom Rock. What? There's a place called Mushroom Rock. And then, oh, oh, is this, oh, I wonder, Katie, with that little note, the deer habitat, huh? Huh. Huh. I might have to convince Chips to go here. That would be really cool. That is funny. And Fat Man Squeeze. My friend always hits her head here. Oh my gosh. There's Lover's Leap Legend. Oh my goodness gracious. Whoa, look how pretty that is. Yeah, I might have to convince Chips to go on a trip there because that looks amazing. And then there's this little package right here. I'm wearing giraffe earrings. I'm wearing giraffe earrings. <laughs> right now and there's this little package right here oh my gosh Katie oh it's whoa it's so pretty look at that piece of amethyst this is so pretty I don't have a piece like this where you can see almost through the piece of rock that it's sitting on this is gorgeous it's going on my desk and I'm going to be like so many of your gifts and I'm going to be thinking about it every time I look thinking of you about every time I look at it Katie because this is just amazing oh my gosh you guys look it's kind of it's amethyst pie yeah it's just like the chocolate pie that we got from Isabel oh that's so sweet <laughs> oh my gosh okay okay so I'm going to very gently tuck these things to the side for a moment and let's oh gosh. You guys. Katie. Your art is so beautiful. Oh, I'm gonna cry! <laughs> We have her wool cloth painting, and that's already one of my like most prized possessions. I keep it next to the painting my mom made me. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, okay, breathe, Siri, breathe. Okay, sorry guys, I'm just really excited. I get really emotional when I'm super excited, and this is just, I'm like, I'm shaking so hard, and I'm fighting to keep my hands from showing it. This and my draft, and I. I'm gonna drag Chips out here and make him look at everything. And then there's a book that I'm supposed to open. And this is the last thing in here, which is good, because I think if it was any more amazingness, I would just like faint and sit down and not be able to move. So this is a planning pad. And she said to open it. So what do we have inside here? Let's see. What? Minecraft planning book for builds, layouts, and nonsense to plot on. Build it up. Let's get building. Look at all the beautiful ores. No way. Or get distracted by doodling flowers. Oh my gosh, look how pretty. Look how pretty. Whatever brings you the most joy. Oh my goodness. Siri, this is something I love building in Minecraft, and with your discovery of the Raven Tower, I think you might have fun with it. From the surface, it appears to be a run-down wizard's tower, but after exploring through the crumbling basement, a break in the wall hidden by vines leads the way to a massive underground forest. Tiered levels carved into the stone are covered with lush and fertile soil, sprouting trees, and giant mushrooms! Water cascades from the walls and tumbles down to the levels to end up in a lake or pond at the bottom. My favorite part is the view from here. Looking down on this hidden underground biome, hope you like the idea. Are you kidding? I love that idea. I'm gonna like make that my special pet project. Oh my gosh. And there's there's pages for me to help plan all the builds that I need to do. Kazoo crafting's amazing. Katie, this is, this is, this is, wow. <laughs> this is really, really wonderful. Thank you so much. I just can't even, I just can't even. It's, it's not only the gifts, but it's the creativity and the, the detail and the way that it's sincerely things that I like and, and the thoughtfulness that goes behind all of it. And just thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you to Isabel for all of your sweet gifts too and for really making me smile and think about my niece who I miss so much. And just being able to see that kind of kindness and, and wonderful curiosity and imagination in everybody, especially in our younger viewers, really helps kind of heal my homesickness because I've kind of taken the risk and opened my life and opened my heart and brought a lot of our community in and the results of being able to see your artwork and creativity and the beautiful amazing kind things that you guys do not only for me but for each other or even for yourselves wow <laughs> it's the best thing ever so thank you so much everybody i'm going to go now because i need to drag all of this over to chips and pull him away from whatever league of legends game has produced so much screaming from his office and then we are going to have to go through everything and look at what isabel has sent and katie has sent and i'm going to look over my pile of fan mail and just remember how amazing all of you are and then get back to work because holy moly does this ever just fill my heart with such I don't even think joy can 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 joy have wings? Does that make any sense? Inspiration, motivation, joy with wings <laughs> to want to create more adventures and and put this happiness. I want to take it up. I want to take it and make something with it so that I can try to give it to you guys. And that's what I do with the adventures and I'm just so happy to see that it bears fruit that you guys really feel that. Mm. And I'm going to get too emotional because I'm so excited. So thank you guys so much. And I'm going to go now because I really, really want to show chips. And I hope you're all having an amazing day. And I will have more adventures out soon. And just thank you so much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>